What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel Hidden Heights Farm. My name is Kevin. If you're new to the channel and you clicked on this video, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Please hit that subscribe button down below. So what are we getting into today? So the Arctic blast kind of uh uh, it was cold here for a little bit. It was negative five degrees for, oh, probably about 24 hours or so. And one thing that we noticed was, um, just because the cold temperatures here don't mean we stop. Rachel was still having to go back and forth to her mom's, stuff like that. I was having to come out here every day and manually open the gate because it would not work with our automatic gate opener. Now, we're going to talk about that. I don't know if it was the motors inside this ghost control unit. I don't know if it was the battery. I don't know if the charger wasn't charging the battery fast enough because we are well into winter. Um, about a week ago or so, what, the 21st? whenever the winter solstice starts. I think that's the shortest day of the year. So of course we don't have as much sunlight during this time as we do like in the summer. We got a few more hours. Uh, we never have a problem with this ghost control um, automatic gate opener. But every time that it seems like it gets really cold um, around January, December time frame, we don't have a lot of sunlight, you know, like the summertime. Um, I think this battery has a hard time keeping up with the motor or maybe the motor just gets cold i don't know it doesn't have a heater in it but one thing i did i'm going to try today you guys are coming with me we're going to try to upgrade the solar panel so here's a little flashback i have we have this gate here on our entry it's just a gated entry but it has a ghost controls automatic gate opener that we use with remote controls little buttons like you use on your garage door opener I keep one in the ranger keep one in the tractor just this little dude right here well like i said when it was real cold the gate was opening like so slow it was acting like the battery wasn't charged i didn't put a meter on it to check it or anything like that but the little solar panel that comes with the ghost control gate opener kit this is only a 10 watt charger so even if it is working um, right now you can see we got plenty of sunshine <clears throat> shining right on it and i know the sun is different in the time of the year whether it's summer whether it's winter right now it's a little lower um it is right now it is about four o'clock and you can see where the sun is you know um it's going to change in the winter and summertime but the sun is still hitting it so it should be charging okay i have a deep cycle battery right here and it is controlled with this ghost control this control unit here now the solar charger that comes with the ghost controls kit it has to be ran through here has to be hooked through this and it uses a uh, charge controller off of this circuit board so it doesn't overload the battery and that just keeps it whenever the battery says okay i'm full this charge controller shuts the solar panel off so it doesn't bypass any electric to the battery and burn it up or anything like that or overcharge it now this one this new panel i got i just ordered this on amazon this is a 50 watt solar panel <clears throat> so the output that the sun the solar panel will collect energy from the sun and the output from this solar panel to that battery will be 50 watts this one is only 10 watts and uh i don't know why but these guys keep these guys and girls the quack pack keeps laughing at me i don't think it's too funny guys you know what happens if this gate stays open you guys are going to get out and then Mojo's going to be stuck in here and the coyotes are going to eat you. So who's laughing now? Yeah, real funny, huh? <laughs> anyway, so this solar panel is five times the size of this little one that comes with the actual unit. So what I'm going to do real quick is I've already got everything put together. Um, the bolts they sent with this solar panel unit is up to a four inch pipe. This is a five inch pipe, so it wouldn't work. Um, I've got two little bolts right here that I can make work for now. I'll have to get some longer ones the next time I go into town. But I'm going to take the old one down and I'm going to mount this one up here. I've already put everything together. Like I said, I bought this on Amazon. I'll share a link down below. Um, this panel right here, it is a 50 watt panel. Um, what's cool about it is you can actually get one of these. You can put them on your boat. You can put them in your side by side. You can put them in your vehicle and they come with three different types of chargers 
has little quick connects on all three of the types of uh, charger ends is what I meant to say and these alligator clips are very handy so say you're out uh, four wheeling in your side by side or your truck or something or out on the lake in your boat and your battery goes dead if you have one of these panels right here you can just hook it up lay it out in the sun hook these alligator clamp uh, cables up to your battery and it'll charge it. 50 watts is pretty good. It'll charge it enough to where you could actually probably get the starter to turn over. So now I got all kinds of uh, got all kinds of visitors out here trying to tell me how to do this. But anyways, this isn't too difficult to hook up. Um, it's it's safe. It's low it's low amperage, low wattage. It's not going to hurt us. So uh, I'm going to take this old one down and then mount the new one. And it also has this right here. So you know depending on the time of year that you need this to be working at its best you can actually adjust this because you know the sun changes in the seasons but we're just gonna do our best and then we'll stick this up there and see what happens Okay, so we got the panel mounted and you can see where the sun is. It's after four o'clock now. This is standing up pretty, it's at 60 degrees. So I want to lay it down a little more and I think I want, yeah, we'll lay it down. We'll go down to probably 45 degrees for now. Um, like I said, in the winter time, the sun is lower than it is in the summer right here. Usually the sun would be up straight up in the summertime, but we're in the winter time right now But the cool thing about this is this mount that it come with it has these wing nuts right here You can easily loosen it and just change it where you need it to be
Okay, I like that a lot better. And the cool thing about this one is, like I said, it has the built-in charge controller on the back, so it can be routed straight to the battery. It does not have to go through the actual gate opener controller. So whenever I get ready to take this one off, I'll have to trace out this wire right here, and then I'll have to get a little bitty screwdriver and actually take it off of there because we won't be using this one anymore. This one is very small. But I think this one's gonna work well for winter. It's gonna get a lot of sun and it will charge that battery a lot faster. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Uh, I'm trying to get the camera right where it needs to be, but there is an LED on there on the back of this little black box and it actually tells you um, if the battery's charging, if it has a problem, if it's charged, all that good stuff. And the little charge controller is actually inside that little box. So it will not let you overcharge your deep cycle battery. So anybody that is interested in this panel, I will leave a link down in the description below. Um, I don't know how well it works yet. We're not affiliated with this company. It had good reviews. Um, so I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna put it on here and we're gonna try it out and see if it works. Hopefully the next time, we're still in January, so hopefully we'll be able to test it out because I'm sure it's gonna get cold again, well down into single digits and then That'll tell us if it's actually the ghost control motor or if it's the battery or, if, you know, well, solar panel and the battery kind of go hand in hand. But uh, if it continues to be a problem when it gets that cold, I'm going to say it's probably just the motor in this ghost controls unit. And I don't think there's really anything we can do about that. But I have noticed when it gets real cold, sometimes it is a little bit slow. This battery is three years old, which isn't too bad for a battery. And here's a little tip for those of you that don't know anytime you have any kind of battery like this if you just set it right on the ground with nothing at all underneath it but the earth it will drain your battery if you have something like this this little plastic container or something like that you can put it on it will actually stop that from draining your battery so the ground will pull out energy from your battery and drain it so don't ever set a battery straight on the ground so I'm gonna go get some zip ties, wire this all up nicely, go get a little screwdriver, take the old solar panel out, and then uh, hopefully in a couple days I'll be able to update you guys. We'll see how well it's doing. This little motor doesn't use a lot of um, voltage from this 12 volt battery every time it works, but um, if it's not charging correctly, that can, you know, if you go in and out of this gate several times a day, that will knock that battery down. So you want to make sure this battery stays full almost all the time. And when you have a solar panel with a charge controller of its own, it's never going to overcharge your battery. So let me go get all this uh, zip ties and all this tidied up and then we'll go feed and check out the animals. All right, we're back in the shop. I did a little cleaning the other day. I had a day off, did a little cleaning, made a little room. Now I can get back in here and do some work. So let's go feed Mojo, and uh, there you go. Scooter's got to always have his. Let's go feed Mojo and the, all the birds and everybody else. Ooh. Do this one-handed again. And of course, you guys know the chickens. Look at this. They are uh, cleaning up the rest of this food that I spilled. You guys remember? I accidentally left this door a little bit open the other day. It all spilled on the ground and the chickens were happy that that happened. Look what I just did again. Trying to do all this one handed. Man. At least nothing goes to waste, right? There you guys go. Hope you're happy. Hope you guys are happy. Spilled feed. Oh. And I gotta remember to uh, shut this garage door or the chickens will get in there and uh, make a mess. All right, let's go see what Mr. Mojo's doing. Who's who's coming? Anybody want to come? I thought you guys were my friends. You're only my friends when you're hungry, huh? All right, let's go. I don't know where Skeeter went. Skeeter! And I don't see Mojo sitting there. Skeeter! Oh, he's down there at least skiing core. It ain't their turn. It ain't their turn yet. Were you just telling them that we're fixing the feed? Okay, we'll go tell Mojo now. He's first. He's the old man. Go tell Mojo. Where's he at? Where's Mo? Huh? Where's Mo? There's the old big man. What do you know, Mojo? 
Oh not much, I'm just sunning today. It's kind of cold, but the sunshine feels good on my fur. Oh, I'm hungry. Well, let's go eat. Come on, show me the way. You boys lead the way. Dragging your tail. Like a Speaking of dinosaurs, Yoshi and Yoneg are dinosaurs. Look at this Yoneg. Right? Did I wake you up? Was you, was you sleeping? You're yawning a lot. Oh, you're one nice and warm. You're like a polar bear. You know that? You look just like a polar bear. He's like, Can I reach that feed, please, mister? Here. Here you go. Get your bite. Put some in your pocket for later. There you go. Alright, let me set this camera up so I don't make everybody sick. And let's hope it don't blow over again like the other day. No, don't let that camera blow over, okay? Hello, friends! One cracked duck just for you. Now I'll get it on my hand. <laughs> Turkeys, you guys need to come in here. I'm not feeding you guys out in the yard no more. You guys make a mess. Everybody makes a mess. You can eat. How's that duck egg? Huh? Quite tasty, sir. There's Black Betty. Yoshman! Yoshi! So the other day, somebody asked, where did you get the name Yoshi? I know most of you know. Not everybody. I don't expect everybody to know. Yoshi is a little dinosaur character. Off of, uh, you guys remember the Super Mario Brothers or the Mario from Nintendo? Yoshi was a little dinosaur, little green dinosaur on that video game. And I uh, thought it was fitting for these dinosaur looking birds to name one of them Yoshi. And uh, just a little reminder Yoshi's wife, Yoneg, is the white emu. Yonega is white in Cherokee. Yonega. Or Yoneg, Yonega. But that's what that means. Yep, you got a pretty name because you're a pretty singer. Yep, pretty girl. Pretty feathers, pretty everything. Alright, let's go uh, let's go get the food. Feed Liski and Cora. I'm trying to step over this emu here. Well, there's Mr. Spiegel. Where you been? You see, you and Mojo's been digging in the ash pile. That's where we dump our ashes from the wood stove. The cats go to the bathroom in there. Mojo just gets in there and digs. Yeah. You like making messes? So here's where we dump our ashes. This is our old in-ground garden bed. And we dump our ashes in there usually every year, but usually it's for the chickens. Chickens like to get in the ashes and take a dust bath. And that helps keep all the little uh, insects like the mites and the lice off of them. They do it all year long. They do it in the summer. They do it in the winter time. So if you guys got chickens and you got ashes from your wood stove, um, you can actually make a little box or you can just dump them right on the ground and your chickens will absolutely love it. Right, girls? They said, yeah, we take bass in that stuff. It's good stuff. And back in the old days, they used to make soap out of it. You need to try that sometime. Yeah. 
Leesky and Cora's patiently waiting. And the bowl system is working. Their feed bowl is being separated just that much. It's working. And I know some people said you need to separate them further. Um, we still can. But so far, so good. There has not been any fights. Nothing. So, let's knock on wood that I didn't just jinx that. Right, girls and boys? The goats are destroying that hay bale. We got one goat that likes to jump on there. And, of course, they got that hay bale there. All right. Who's hungry first? Oh, I can hear this egg cracking in my hand. Never fails. Never fails. I always get eggs all over my hands every time I feed you guys. But you guys deserve it. Alright, a little slow today. A little slow. Oh, that one busted all over my hand. There you go. There you go. No fighting. There's no reason to fight. Everybody's got their own face. We got a chicken that's seen the feed. She's coming to get a bite. It's not you. You're not a chicken. You quit eating goat food. It's going to make you sick. Hello. How are you guys today? Let's do this patiently. No pushing, no shoving. One at a time, single file over there. So much easier when I got two hands and I don't spill it all over their heads. The setting the camera up like that works wonders. Works wonders. So someone in the last video when I asked you guys does any of these girls look bred yet? A couple of viewers said, yeah, um, they're already starting to get their udders. I didn't really look too much at their udders. I was just kind of looking at their uh, sides. But yeah, less than two months. You don't want in here. You'll be uh, feathers and bones. Them dogs don't do chickens. Those dogs eat chickens. They uh, protect their goats and they see you guys as a threat. So... Oh, Cory and Leesky, the good dogs. No more fighting. Who knew moving these feed bowls five feet more apart would make that big a difference. Oh, she dropped her egg. They love their eggs and their eggshells. Good stuff. Protein, calcium, and it tastes good. She ate that thing right up. So there you guys go. Um, I was in my head as I was putting all the tools up and stuff on the solar panel deal. I was kind of thinking where some other applications would come in very handy for that. So one thing I can think of is um, if you got a farm or homestead, you probably got equipment like a tractor or other things like trucks you use that you don't use all the time, but you use them when you need them. That solar panel right there, you could actually just set it right on the hood of your tractor or set it on the ground, run your cable to your battery, and it will maintain your battery and keep it topped off. And having that smart controller in there will actually, or the charge controller, it will actually stop charging when it's full. So you could do it for something like that. You could do it on lawn mowers. You could do it on electric start generators that have batteries. And I know that sounds silly, but until you're out here needing a generator and it's like, zero degrees and you're in a blizzard the last thing you want to do is pull start that thing so the ones with the batteries um you flip a key and that thing starts but if your battery is dead it ain't gonna work you could always put that solar panel on there for a little bit charge that thing up get that thing started so just a couple of ideas to throw out there and like i said i'll leave a link down in the description below if you guys are interested in that solar panel i think it was just a little bit over a hundred dollars but it's a 50 watt, it's quite a bit bigger than the ones provided with a lot of these uh, kits like the gates and stuff like that, 10 watts. Um, yeah, they'll work, but they're not as good as a 50 watt. So anyways, guys, that's the video for today. I'm gonna go in and uh, see what Rachel's got ready for dinner. Um, everything's going good. Thank you guys so much for uh, clicking on the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time. You ready to go in, Ski? Let's go.